The 2024 Democratic National Convention is currently underway in Chicago. Elian is on Wednesday. Vice presidential nominee Tim Walls uh, accepted his party's nomination and pledged his support for Vice President Kamala Harris, who is set to deliver an acceptance speech tonight. As uh, Bayes Karu Van Dam is now also on the ground at the convention and has found the support. I'm Carol Van Dam at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Illinois, where last night we heard from a number of the big names in the Democratic Party and most anticipated speeches of this week, including former President Bill Clinton, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and Tim Waltz, the running mate of Kamala Harris. And we heard first from Bill Clinton, who had a lot to say, spoke longer than a lot of the other speeches last night and got some big rousing applause from the crowd here, which was packed, by the way, and probably one of his biggest messages and that of the other speakers of the whole night seemed to be the theme of freedom and in the freedom in terms of what the Democratic Party says is their freedoms to be a middle-class person in this country and rise to a successful career, no matter what your roots are. And also, freedom to do what you want with your own body if you're a woman. So with uh, President Clinton, what he talked about was Donald Trump mostly and said, you know, if the next time you hear Donald Trump speak, listen, and he uses his voice, listen to what he says, and don't count the lies, he said, count the eyes, because he said he always talks about himself. Uh, and with Nancy Pelosi, she was more muted, but she did say that the, the future of the party is with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. There was uh, controversy about her being one of the most important voices to convince President Joe Biden to step aside, and she didn't really get into that, but they have been longtime friends, and she also paid tribute to Joe Biden, which was important for everyone to hear tonight again, as many speakers have in the past. And then, of course, there was Tim Waltz, the former football coach, the former school teacher, who got a huge rousing applause. And just before he spoke, uh, his, his old high school football team, which was uh, winning absolutely no games when he uh, agreed to be the coach, all of a sudden got a state championship. So we saw these older gentlemen in their original football jerseys, which was kind of uh, amusing, but they were all very, very supportive of their former coach, Tim Waltz. He talked about how the future of the party is about freedom and Democrats wanting basically to take back that word freedom, you know, from Republicans who have been using it. And he said Democrats mean freedom to make your own choices when you go see your doctor and the freedom to uh, have a decent living and not have to work two jobs, that kind of a kind of speech. And, and uh, the Republicans, he said, are the ones that are talking about freedom for corporations to pollute your air and water and, and the freedom for uh, Republicans and, and uh, people who agree with them that abortion should be restricted so that they can take those rights away from you. So that was about what we were seeing last night. And tonight, of course, we're going to hear from Kamala Harris herself, the Democratic nominee. And lots and lots of people here are very excited to see her in person. I'm Carol Van Dam in Chicago, Illinois. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.